beep a beep there's a jeep so this one's just gonna be a real quickie um, but I want to do a long-term review of the coolant filter that I installed a couple years ago to see how well it's been doing on the system so I think I've had this filter for I'm gonna say about two years maybe 6,000 miles or so I haven't had any complaints this is um, right off of the thermostat so this is uh, in line before the heater core so it should catch all the crap and hopefully it's kept it clean over the years heat's still been good don't really have any complaints the coolant's been looking really nice so since uh, I'm going through the cooling system anyway might as well pull the filter and uh, first I want to flush the heater core and see if anything actually comes out and two we'll crack open this filter and see what uh, we've caught over the years so the fun part's gonna be trying to twist that off. There we go. Got the damn filter off. I needed a uh, one of these guys just to actually break it free with some WD. Some coolant in there. Not a whole lot came out luckily, but it's because the thing's basically drained. So let's see if we can hook up a hose and start squirting. Okay, so we're just gonna start right off the bat with a back flush. Let's see, will it stay or will it get sprayed? Wow, look at that, man. <laughs> She's completely clear. Holy crap, not a single bit of brown in there. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. And that's back flushing. Oh, man. Wow. That is the cleanest I have ever, ever seen a Jeep heater core. Oh, man, I'm already sold. Holy crap. That was gorgeous. That right there is enough to make it worth it. Not having to clean out the heater core every year to make sure you have heat. Oh yeah. <laughs> All the people would say, oh that's stupid, just clean your thing, just flush it, blah 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 blah. Well, guess what? The thing continuously rusts. Previous owner filled this thing full of stop leak and after, you know, probably over 10 flushes, it still ain't clean. So yeah, a little $20 filter setup ain't gonna kill you. So happy with that. That's awesome. All right. I'll see if I can get the uh, hose over here and see if anything comes out here, but damn, that was... Whew. Yeah, I'm already sold. That's beautiful. So in case you're curious, here's what a uh, new filter looks like. 240, 70. Just got the uh, seal lubed up a little bit. And I'll just screw right on there. Alright. So, crank it down a little bit, but not a ton, so we can actually take the damn thing off later. Alright. Beautiful. Put a little uh, mileage note on there so you remember when we did it. And that's it. So yeah, if you wanted a coolant filter for your Jeep, you wanted to know how well it works, well, it works awesome. So if you never want to have to clean out your uh, heater core ever again, get one of these. I've got a whole install video on it, so go check it out if you're interested. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we popped the top on this guy. I guess uh, now we need to see what's inside. So you can see... Uh, there's some stuff there. Don't know how much of that is from the blade, but that looks like peppery almost. Don't know how much of that you can make out, but it's all like dust and stuff. Quite a lot of crap. But there's no way that all of that is from the saw. Holy crap, dude. Look at that. Stuff on the bottom. It looks like pepper. So, take a look inside. Holy shit. <laughs> look at that, dude. Oh, man. That's nice. That's real nice. Holy cow. Get a good old view up in there. Jeez. 
Jeez. Looks like a whole bottle of pepper. That's nuts. I'll have to see if I can uh, cut the, uh, the medium out. See if I can stretch it out. But you can definitely see particles in there. So this filter has been on for, I think, 7,000 miles or something like that. But yeah, it's picked up quite a lot of stuff. You know, this Jeep, uh, when I first got it, years and years ago, it uh, had stop leak in it, all kinds of crap like that. And this thing's been through multiple flushes. Uh, almost everything has been replaced in the vehicle. A couple new radiators, new water pump, um, stuff like that. And there's still tons of stuff. So yeah, I don't care how good you flush a system. There's no way in hell you're going to get it all. So I'm super happy with this filter and how much stuff it's actually caught. Because that's insane. That's just gross. And, you know, you saw you saw the heater core. Not a single freaking speck of dirt in there. So, yeah. Some may call it unnecessary, but <laughs> in an off-road application, sometimes unnecessary is important. Alright, so the easiest way that i found to separate the filter is just take a hacksaw and cut the crap. Because, uh... It's really hard to separate, so it's definitely sealed really well on both ends if you're worried about material coming off. But, uh, yeah, so there's the filter medium. Quite a lot of it. If you get all up in there, you can see little crumbs and stuff. You can hear lots of loud fucking dogs. But you can see, like, on each one, each one's got, like, a little pocket of... You know, sand and crap that it picked up. There you go. There's a section of it. So yeah, I'd have to say that's pretty impressive. So yeah, if you've ever wanted to see uh, how effective a coolant filter is, <laughs> now you know. Well, I'll let you decide <laughs> if your uh, poor cooling system has ever been abused with stop leak or any other kind of uh, crap or rust or anything like that. Dude, this it's an awesome upgrade, you know? It's cheap. It's simple. You don't really have to do anything. And it's just, it's great. So yeah, I'm super happy with this. So uh, yeah, at least I know that there's uh, no crap running around there because all those little particles, kind of like, uh, you know, sand and stuff like that basically just like wears down all the components over time so yeah being able to catch all this crap definitely an A plus in my book I don't care what the haters say I'm in love with this thing this is awesome so yeah, if you want to see how to actually install the the system that I got here I got a whole video on it I'll link it in the description and uh yeah there you go so stay cool and stay clean Ugh. <laughs>